Okay, if you're a rancher or a farmer looking for to see if you have hogs or whatever on the ranch, this is this is something you can look at. Go to your waters. We've got a water trough here. They've had to put a cement top on it because the hog kept knocking the, the float off and, and uh, making a big old mess where the cows come in and bog down. Plus, there, there are times when there's no water for the cattle because of the float broke. Some other things you can see around here, you've got a tree over here. It's got mud up about three foot up on the side of the tree where they come in and rub on it. Uh, you got a deer feeder over there. They've had to anchor it off with steel posts because the hogs were coming in and, and uh, knocking it over and disturbing the hunting. You've got a good crawl right here coming in, a trail coming off the, the hill through this fence. It's got mud where they've been coming under the fence and, and on the brush there also. There's tracks here in the mud. You can see a good walla where they've watered and laid down and and try to cool off in the middle of the day they'll uh, they'll come in and try to you know cool off a little and this is a good indication that you might have a hog in a little bit we'll go look at some power poles they'll come from this point right here where they watered around in the in the mud and they'll they'll go up to a power line and they'll rub on those poles and we'll look at that in a little bit they're trying to get the ticks and fleas off and uh, it's just a it's another thing to look for when you're you're out there looking to see whether you have hogs or not. So you can see here on the, this leg on this deer feeder, you can see where the hogs have come along and they've uh, shaken the mud off and they left spots on the post and on this leg of the deer feeder. There's rubs here. If you don't have these this feeder anchored down, the hogs will turn it over and all your corn feed will uh, spill out. and. Uh, you know, it's just a, it's a problem for the hunters. You know, if you lose all your feed, there's a week or two before they come back. There's no feed for the deer. And it's just a problem. Uh, we've got a real good hog right. crawl right here. You can see where the trail comes through the fence. Uh, there's mud on the fence. And we, we usually use an eighth inch cable, about 48 inches long. Uh, you can see the angle iron. It's made out of one by one by one eighth inch angle iron. It, it's a lot heavier and works a lot better than the, the smaller washer type. And we have very few hogs get out of these. They work real good. You can see the rocks we have an extension tied to the snare and tied to these rocks that when the hog gets in there, they can travel off and, and not tear up the fence. In addition to that, we use uh, logs, poles, whatever's there, stumps, work real well uh, for drags and, and hopefully uh, you know, they won't hang up in the fence and tear your fence up.